All right. Um, good day to all of you, student. Um, for today, we are going to start with our chapter seven, uh, which involves the differential equations. All right. So this is a uh, short chapters, and then um, generally you need the technique of integration uh, that you learn in chapter five. So if, let's say um, you still are not familiar with all the techniques in chapter five, maybe you have to go through chapter five again before you come to this chapter because they are linked actually. All right. So in this chapter, you need uh, all the ideas of integration. Okay, so let's have a look for the learning outcome. Alright, so you can see that to uh, for this chapter, the learning outcome is to find by integration. So you see the integration technique will be very important. A general form of solution in a first order differential equation. So first order general form, okay, in which the variables are separable. Alright, then after that, to use an initial condition to find a particular solution. So there are a few words that you might need to know. Lah. Okay, so we will discuss all this later. What is the meaning of general form? What is the meaning of particular solution? What is the meaning of initial condition? And also, what is the meaning of first order differential equation? Alright, but the main idea for this chapter is to use integration techniques. Alright, okay, so let's continue from here. Alright, so if let's say you see the equation, right, with the term like dy dx or d square y dx square, so all these we call them as differential equation. So as an example, like all these, all right, so uh, differential equation, okay, and you will see that for all these three equations here, they involve only dy dx. So when the equation only involves dy dx, we call them as first order differential equation. So that's why it is first order. Okay, and then after that, what is the meaning of second order? So second order differential equation includes uh, the terms with d, d square y dx square. So we call it as second order differential equations. Alright, so for our paper three, our syllabus are we only uh, involve the first order differential equation and second order differential equation is not included in our syllabus. Alright, so which is quite lucky. Lah. And then for first order differential equation, the, the question that involved in our syllabus are mainly are separable. So separable means that you can separate the x and y, the two variable to each side easily. Alright, so we will discuss this uh, later lah, okay, in detail. Alright, so first please make sure that you know what's the meaning of first order differential equation. Alright, and then this is something that will involve in our syllabus. Alright, then we continue further. Okay, so when we talk about first order differential equation with separable variable, which means that um, before you solve for integration, right? You solve the equation for integration. You can actually separate the variable to left hand side and right hand side easily. Okay, and then usually the differential equation has a general solution. So general solution means that something with a constant, like as an example, huh? so like y equals to 3x squared plus c. So this is what you call a general solution. Okay, so this is an important word. And then when the solution satisfies an initial condition, Usually, the initial condition will be given in the question, like when t equals to 0, what happened to the x and so on. So, this is the initial condition, some extra information given in the question. And then, the general solution will become a particular solution. So, what is the meaning of particular solution? So, as an example, like y equals to 3x squared, the plus c, you're able to find the value and become plus 5. So, this is something like particular solution, just an example. Alright, so of the differential equation, we satisfy the initial condition. Alright, so it is not hard to understand for this part. And then uh, the general solution of a differential equation involved dy dx can be found by separating the variable. So all the questions involved in our syllabus are separable ones. So that means you can separate them easily to the left hand side and right hand side. Then after that, you try to do the integration for both sides. Okay, so which means collect all the terms involving by y with dy and then x with dx. Then after that, you do the integration. Okay, so you need extra information to find the constant of integration. So the extra information, we call it as initial condition. Usually, they will give you the initial condition or extra information. Can. Right, then after that, what else do we have? Uh, okay, so for some differential equations that involve a constant proportion, two, piece, two pieces of information are needed. So this one, I think we will uh, discuss it maybe in the next two videos. All right.
then you'll see that why do we need two uh, pieces of information to get all the constant all right okay so generally this is what we have for our explanation here so the concept can be very very simple just to show you here all right so we will discuss some example here first okay so let's look have uh, let us have a look for example one they want you to solve the following differential equations all right so maybe you can start from part number a okay so you can see that this is a first order differential equation uh. so dy dx equals to 2y divided by x squared plus 1 all right so what is the first step the first step is you need to try to uh, group all the y at one side all the x at one side so as an example i will highlight something here la. so the dx and also the x here i want to move it to the left okay and after that for the 2y uh, maybe for the y only la. okay sorry uh. okay so maybe for the y only for the y I want to move it to the left so if I move them okay my by cross multiplying or whatsoever generally what you will have now is it will become 1 over y dy equals to 2x over x square plus 1 dx okay so please make sure that you know how to move all these other y I will bring it over Okay, so the y I will bring it over become 1 over y. So the x and dx I will bring it over become right hand side. Okay, at the right hand side. So generally, please make sure that you know how I move all this variable. And then now you can observe. Lah. You will see that all the left hand side I have all the y and dy. And then on the right hand side I will have all the x and dx. Okay, alright. So there's no, no, no mixture. That means left hand side everything related to y right hand side everything related to x so this is the very first step which is very important you have to make sure that you separate it correctly before you can do any integration okay all right so let's talk about the two so maybe some sometimes a student will ask can i try to move this two over this one okay so usually for me like my suggestion is i will always try to keep the constant at the place where it is original at like this one originally it is on the right right so usually i'll just keep it on the right hand side if you want to move also can just that maybe later the steps will be a bit different only final answer still the same all right just that the um, how to say the general solution uh, that we have uh, might look a bit different but the idea the concept the answer is still the same one no problem all right so for me i will just keep it i will just try to not touching the constant the terms the constant terms the numbers right okay so if you want to check you can try later after this example you try to move the 2y to the other side and what happened to our answer what happened to your answer you can have a look right okay so let's continue okay so after you move you separate all the variable correctly already then the next step will be you have to do integration on both sides Alright, so that's why I said you need some integration technique here, okay, to continue with your solution. Alright, so how to integrate 1 over y? So integrate 1 over y, you should have ln y. And then equals to, for left right hand side, if you double check the pattern, you realize that this is actually f prime x over fx pattern. Okay, so if you continue from the integration here, you should have ln x squared plus 1 all right and then plus c okay so this is my answer okay and then this answer we call them as general solution because you see the constant plus c here Okay, so we call this a general solution. If you want to get particular solution, then that means uh, for this question, they need to give you extra information. Uh, that only you can get a particular solution. So we will uh, discuss this in example 2. Okay, so now, this is generally the idea of differential equation, uh, the basic one. Okay, 
then let us have a look for this part. So some student will tell me, will ask, lah, okay, when I integrate the right-hand side, I have a plus C here. How about when I integrate the left-hand side, should I have a plus C here also? Okay, so generally, by right, we should have a number here, but I don't want to make, mix it up, so maybe it's plus A. Okay, then originally this one should be plus B. When I move the A, A is a number over, right? Okay, so B minus A, it is still a constant, so I make it as a C. So usually for us, uh, we want to make our final answer easier. It doesn't look so complicated, so we will just consider one constant only. So that means I assume that the constant on the left hand side already move it to the right hand side and overall I denote it by using the C. If not, you have plus A and plus B. Later when you want to get a particular solution, it will become a problem for you also. Alright, so we will just group it at one side. So for me myself, I will group everything on the right for the constant term. But if let's say you want to have a plus C on this side also can, just that you don't have this one. Also can, no problem one. Alright, okay, so it is quite flexible for this. So for me, myself, I will always keep all this on the right. Okay, so uh, you will see that you need integration technique. Okay, you, the first step is you need to separate the variable. Then after that, you use integration technique to integrate both sides. And after that, you will get a general solution. So the idea actually is very simple. If let's say your integration uh, concept is good or strong. Okay, so let's have a look for part B. Okay, so for those uh, who already have the idea how to do it, you can actually pause the video and then you try all the example already if you want. Okay, and then if you don't want, then you can just follow uh, a few examples here like, and see whether you understand or not. Okay, so example 1b. We are having dy over dx equals to 3x and then, sorry, 3y, y plus 2. If I look at this um, differential equation, then generally I will think that I want to move the dx to right hand side. And then I will want to move the y and also y plus 2 to the left. Okay, so when I try to move it, eventually I'm having this. Now. Okay, and then I want to do the integration for both sides. Alright, so you can see that all the left hand side will be everything related to y and then everything on the right hand side related to x. Okay, then now we are going to continue. So if you look at the left hand side here, it is a rational function. So when you want to do the integration for rational function, um, what the unit is, you need to find out the partial fraction first. Alright, so here, I'm going to find out the partial fraction before I can do the integration. Alright, so the partial fraction will be a over y and then plus b over y plus 2. Okay, so if I continue from here, then I will have a, y plus 2, then b, y. If you already forget how to do all this, please refer back to your chapter 1, okay, in the previous semester, chapter 1 video. Right, so I will let y equals to 0. When I let y equals to 0, then I'm having 1 equals to 2a. And then a is equals to 1 over 2. If I let y equals to negative 2, then generally I'm having 1 equals to negative 2b. And then b equals to negative 1 over 2. Okay, alright, so once I get all the idea here ready, Okay, so what is the partial fraction that I get? So the partial fraction that I get is 1 over y, and then y plus 2 is equals to 1 over 2y minus 1 over 2y plus 2. Okay, so you can see this. Then I'm going to substitute it into my integration here. Alright, so because of, if you look at my um, partial fraction, you see that we are having constant now 1 over 2, and also 1 over 2. So generally, when before I do any integration, I will prefer to take out all the constants. So I will take out the 1 over 2, and I left only 1 over y minus 1 over y plus 2. And that equals to integration of 3 dx. In my opinion, if you take out the constant, right, then later, uh, when you continue with your solution or your steps, uh, it doesn't look so complicated. Alright, if let's say you didn't take it out, it will look a bit more complicated. So for me, I prefer to take it out. 
All right, so one over two, I will just keep it on as a constant. Now. So integrate one over y, I'm having ln y. Integrate one over y plus two, I will have ln y plus two equals to three x, and then plus c. Okay. And after that, uh, from here, I would like to simplify it further. I'm having 1 over 2. So I apply the rules uh, for the log logarithm function. So I'm having combine them together. I want to combine them together, become 1 log only, and then y divided by y plus 2, which is equal to 3x plus c. All right, so for this question, uh, for this example, they actually didn't request you to simplify your answer or anything. Uh. So it doesn't matter. You can leave your answer like this. You can leave your answer like this. Or you want to further simplify also can, which means uh, it will become y divided by y plus 2 equals to 6x plus a bigger c. Bigger c means 2c. Alright, because multiply 2 over, you have 2c. So 2c is still a constant. So if you want, you can make it as an a. So that you won't feel confused. Okay, so you can leave your answer like this also. Or if you want to further simplify, you can also change it to become y over y plus 2 equals to e 6x plus 8. Because when you bring the long over, okay, you have e power 6x plus 8. And if you want to further simplify it, you can make it become e6x multiply with e power a. Because we learned before, right? x power a plus b, you can separate become a x power a multiply with x power b. So you separate it like this if you want. And then this is a constant again. Alright, so I can make it become y divided by y plus 2 equals to, maybe this one I make it as a b, lah, because e power a, it is still a constant. Alright, so you can write become b e 6x if you want. So, there are many ways that you can simplify your answer. Alright, so uh, for this example, because they didn't request what kind of pattern they, they want, so you can just stop anywhere like you can stop here after, just right after the integration you can further simplify a bit or you can simplify until this stage also can all right so for some students they might even want to continue to simplify until y equals to something 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 x only also can okay but for this example i'm not going to continue further lah, so i'll just stop it here because they didn't request us to stop at where but just to let you know, if they didn't request, you can stop anywhere after the integration part. Okay, so this is what we have for part number B. So from here, you can see that you need a lot of techniques from different chapters, like chapter 1, that you need to find the partial fraction first. Chapter 2, you need to know how to combine all the long function together. And also chapter 5, you need to know how to do the integration for 1 over y and everything here. Okay, so it is a chapter that needs you to have very good basic on all the previous chapters. Alright, so I hope that you all can spend some time on doing some simple revision on all those chapters needed. Okay, right, then now we continue to part number C. Okay, so for part number C, this is our question here that involves trigo. Okay, so let us continue with trigo. Okay, I will show you the solution here. Okay, so part C. This is our question. Y sine power 3x dy dx equals to cos x. Okay, so again, if I look at my uh, equation here, I will want to bring sine power 3x dx to the right-hand side. That there's nothing I want to move it from right to the left. I will just keep it like this. Okay, so I will after I move everything to one side, I have to like separate the variable. Then this is what I have. I'm having cos x divided by sine power 3x dx. Then I have the integration here. Okay, you need to integrate both sides. So to integrate this side, it is very simple, which is y power 2 
divided by two lah, basic integration. Okay, so for this part, ah, it is slightly harder. Okay, so I will give you a hint. But of course, in the exam, they will give you a hint straight away. Alright, but here, because of uh, we didn't learn this thing, uh, how to say, I just take any example, so they didn't give you the hint. Ah. But in the exam, if this question is being asked, ah, then they will give you a hint straight away. Alright, so because they want you to use the substitution. So they want you to use the substitution of u equals to sine x. Alright, so again, if you're interested, you can pause the video here and then please continue from this part how to get the integration before you see the answer and my discussion here. Alright, strongly recommend you to stop the video and try it on your own first. Okay, so now I want to use a substitution method. So since they give us u equals to sine x, so first of all, I need to find out the differentiation. So du over dx, differentiate sine, you get cos. Alright, so your du will be equals to cos x dx. Okay, then now I want to substitute everything here, become u. So just want to remind you that cos x dx, the yellow color, the highlighted part will become du. Because cos x dx equals to du, right? Can you see that? Okay. And then when you're having 1 over sine power 3, it will become 1 over u power 3. Because u is equal to sine x. Okay. And from here, you can see that your equation become quite simple. That you want to integrate u power negative 3. So when you want to integrate u power negative 3, it will become u power negative 2 divided by negative 2 and then plus c. But of course, you cannot just leave your answer like this. Okay, so I'm having y power 2 divided by 2 equals to negative 1 over 2u squared plus c. And then if I continue further, then I'm having y squared equals to negative 1 over u squared plus 2c. I simplify, I multiply everything with 2. So I will have a 2c here. Then maybe I will replace it by using a. Okay, a is a 2c. Okay, then change it back, become x. So I'm having negative 1 over sine square x plus a. Then if you want to make it look better, then 1 over sine squared, it is actually cosecant square x plus a. So this can be your final answer. Okay, so for this example, it's uh, even more advanced because they need you to use a substitution method. Alright, so again, if you already forget this method, refer back to the chapter 5 integration videos and then to recall it back. Alright. Okay, so this is what you have for example 1. So you can see that for example 1, because of they didn't request until where you should stop to simplify your answer. Therefore, uh, it is quite flexible. So like for this example, you can stop it at here. It is not right. Definitely, you need to change it back, become X. You cannot just leave your answer in terms of you. Okay, alright. And then you will see that all the solution that we get here, they are constant term. So we call it as general solution. That means the unknown. Like A, la, C, la, all the numbers you don't know yet, right? So we call them as general solution. Okay? So this is what we have for example 1. Alright. So uh, for this video, I will stop it for now. And then in the next video, we will discuss example 2 where it actually involves the particular solution. That means from general solution, how are we going to continue to get the particular solution? So I will see you in uh, video 2, the next video.